everyone. Today I'm here. I'll start with the poetry section of Flamingo class 12. And the first poem that I'll start is My Mother at 66 by Kamla Das. It is a beautiful poem. You all have got your books. Read the poem. You will really love it. Because Kamla Das is a poet. She uh, was born in Kerala and her uh, pen name you know, she doesn't reveal her own name. Her pen name is Madhavi Kutti. See, I've written, it's Madhavi Kutti. And after her marriage, she got her name Kamla Das. So she writes uh, about her inner feelings, you know, true inner feelings. And uh, her, uh, the matter in the poem does not have any external factors. You know, there are poets who are writing about um, the battles, the people who have died in that and so on and so forth. But she has got her style of writing in which she depicts her true inner feelings. And in, in this poem, uh, she is talking about her mother who is aging. Her mother is 66 and she is growing old and she feels very sad about it. And uh, it is a very short poem and it does not have a full stop. You know, it is one full sentence. When you have full stops, the sentence completes there. So this poem is a full sentence with overflowing uh, emotions, overflowing inner feelings. So let me start with the poem. Now in this poem, when it, is it, when it starts, the poet is driving from her parents' house to the airport and she's going back to Cochin. She had come for a few days to live with her parents and now she is going back. So the mother, who is an old lady, she also misses her daughter, you know. And so she accompanies the daughter and uh, to the airport. So when they are on the way, uh, the poet turns to look at her mother and she observes that her mother has grown old. Her mother was, you know, she was, she had dozed off. Mother had slept on the way because it must, have, must have been a long drive. So her mother had dozed off with her mouth open and the poet observes that her mother had grown so old and her face was like ash. Her face was smoky, like ash. It was grey and smoky, you know. And she felt so bad. Her face, which was smoky like ash, looked like a dead body. Looked like a corpse. Corpse is what? Corpse is a dead body. And she felt a sudden ache. She felt so bad. The feeling of insecurity came in her. Because, you know, the thought of losing your mother is itself so tragic. It feels so sad, you know. A person fears a child, a daughter or a son. Both, you know, they fear even with the thought of losing mother. So the same, you know, feelings came into um, the poet. She feels very sad about it. And to put away those thoughts... She looks out of the window and when she looks out of the window, you know, it's a beautiful scene. She sees a contrasting scene. You know, inside it was very sad and gloomy because of the thought that overcame, you know, the, the thought that came into her. But now when she looks out, she sees the young trees sprinting by, you know, passing by. When you are, you are driving, you know, the other tree, you feel the trees are running behind. So these young trees are sprinting past. By and she also notices young children, you know, energetic, lively, happy children, merrily spilling out of their houses and running to the field to play. It was such a contrast. You know, inside it was so sad, so grave, so gloomy. And outside, it was so young and energetic, happy, full of life. So the poet has brought out, you know, through her words, just go through the poem. You will love her words and poem, you know. And so well she has brought this out. So um, now after this, they reach the airport 
and uh, when they reach the airport you know everybody who is going to drop you there is not allowed in the person who is going has to has himself go and get the check in done and all so when she goes and she reaches there she turns back to say to forbid a bye to her mother and again she notices she observes that her mother has grown so old her mother's face was weak and pale like the moon of winter season you know during winter it is very misty and foggy and the moon is not visible properly you know we feel that the moon has lost its strength the strength you know of the light that it gives at night but uh, and she sees the same and uh, she is she again the childhood fear comes in her she feels so sad she feels that at this age you know she should be there with her mother to serve her to give her love to sympathize with her to love her to care for her you know we all should give a lot of time to our parents who are growing old who are aging because aging the process is inevitable we cannot avoid everyone has to age everyone has to die one day so why not before the death comes why not give a little more time to our parents to our grandparents we should sit with them we should talk to them this all we should do no so the poet when she looks at her mother's face and she feels she has grown so weak and old and her uh, mother's face looked like the uh, moon of winter season she feels very bad she feels like crying you know she feels so bad that she's going she's getting separated but again she is a bold girl you know she is sensitive but she is a bold girl and she um, puts a brave front in front of her mother she does not want her mother to feel bad she does not want to share this feeling of insecurity with her mother although she feared that whether she will be able to meet her mother again next time or not because she knew that her mother was aging and any day you know anything can happen but still she puts a brave front and she smiles back and she smiles and smiles and smiles you know the poet has used the word smile thrice she has repeated this to emphasize that she smiled so much to put up a brave front to end to say a bye to her mother with a positive attitude and she does that and she says see you amma and she uh, forbids her bye and she goes off it's a beautiful poem just read every line and you will love the words that kamla das has uh, used to uh, depict her true inner feelings this was a small poem just feelings of a poet of a daughter for her mother and let us see quickly what the theme is and few poetic devices that the poet has used so whenever you read the poem you are able to understand it better you can play my video again and again and you will understand better alongside you know you read the poem and you will get a better understanding so let us see the theme of the poem first see the theme of the poem is aging and death are inevitable aging any one who is born is sure to die and because we all are mortals no one is immortal so we all have to die one day and we grow old we age so that is inevitable unavoidable we cannot stop this all right so this is the theme and we should take it with a positive attitude you know however it comes take it with positive attitude because that is the process which no one can change all right so this was the first point second is world is made up of two strong emotions and that is of love and separation love with your any love with your relations love of between two people between um, the siblings you know brother sister love or brother brother sister sister love or parents love with their children mothers love with daughter mothers love with son all this is beautiful feeling you know the bond of love this is really nice so this has been brought because here in the poem the poet feels sad she loves her mother so much 
that is why she is able to feel the ache the feeling of loss and insecurity comes when she sees that the mother is aging and one day she will lose her mother you know this feeling of insecurity is there in all the children since their childhood even i have you all must be also having because the relationship with mother especially is a different bond you know it's a high level thing which no one can uh, you know uh, can supersede with this and the next uh, emotion is and uh, next thing is separation every day you know we are getting separated with so many people nothing is permanent we are never together all the time we have to get separated one day and we should keep this in mind and take it positively it is indeed separating with someone loss of someone is indeed a great loss very tragic but we cannot avoid it so we should take it positively all right and the next is keep a positive attitude the same way that kamla das had put the poet had put in the poem and when she was going saying goodbye to her mother she smiled at her mother so that the mother doesn't feel that my daughter is upset or sad about something she smiles and smiles and smiles and again she uh, ends with a positive note and she says see you amma and so that is a positive attitude quickly we'll see the poetic devices that uh, she has used beautifully in her poem number one is simile you know what is simile it is comparison between two things when we make and uh, where how do you come to know it is a simile because comparison is metaphor also so comparison when we uh, see it is simile when we see the poet has used the words as and like so here in the poem she has used her face ashen like that of a corpse so when she sees first time when she is sitting in the car and they are going driving uh, to the airport she notices her mother and she observes that her mother's face was looking like smoky like ash which resembled a dead body as i told you corpse is a dead body so here she is using simile she's compared her mother's old face with that of a uh, dead body all right and second place she has also she has used simile twice second is van pale as a late winter's moon and she has used when she reaches the airport and she turns back to say goodbye to her mother she uses this line you know van is weak she sees her mother's weak pale face which resembles the uh, moon of the winter season all right so this is the two now uh, second poetic device that she uses is imagery imagery is what certain lines and words you know the poet puts into the poem which when you read you can imagine you know you a picture comes of picture flashes in your mind and you can imagine beautiful things so when she is talking about the young tree sprinting when she looks out of the window and she sees a beautiful lively happy sight outside uh, when she looks out of the car so then she uh sees the young trees sprinting by so you can imagine the trees green trees young ones you know they are passing by and also the mer merry children uh spilling out of the houses so that is also uh, a beautiful sight you know when happy children merry children running out to go and play so this is imagery then third poetic device that she has used is personification what is personification when things which are not Uh, a person uh, like humans but some words are used to relate them with a person all right here she uses uh, young trees sprinting now trees don't actually run they don't run sprinting is what running so here she has used personification as if the trees are men who children who are running past uh, the car all right next is metaphor i told you metaphor is also used for comparison and when we do not use as and like when we use as and like it is simile when we do not use and we are still comparing it is a metaphor now here she says merry children spilling spilling word is actually used for liquids you know flowing here she is used for children so this is a metaphor she has compared you know flow is a smooth flow where you cannot stop things so children were also very energetic and they ran out of their houses so this is a comparison 
Next is contrast. I told you she contrasted the inner atmosphere of the car where she felt her mother uh, who had dozed off with her mouth open. She felt her face was so smoky like ash and that resembled a dead body. So that, that was a very gloomy and grave atmosphere inside the car. But outside when she looks, she looks at the young sprinting trees. Uh, so nice, green and beautiful and she sees the young merry children, you know, in colorful clothes, running out of their houses, running to the green fields. So that is very full of life, happy and lively atmosphere in, compare, in contrast to the gloomy atmosphere of the car. Alright, so that is the contrast, that is opposite. And the last that she has used is repetition. I told you while explaining the poem also that the word smile she has used thrice, you know, smile and smile and smile, smile, smile. Why she has used? Because she wanted to emphasize that she was putting up a brave front. She was giving a positive attitude, a nice smile back to the mother who was left alone there. She had to drive back, stay alone. You know, she wanted to stay with her mother, but still life has to go on we have to do we have to complete a commit do the commitments we have to complete them that we have to do we cannot stop and stay there no so but still even if you are staying far away you know from far you should talk again you should call we all should do that if you are living away from our parents we should call them every day we should talk to them we should let them talk to us they should be able to tell whatever they feel, all this. So uh, to put up a positive front that everything was normal, she uses repetition of the word smile and she bids her mother goodbye. So this was the poem. I'm sure you're going to read this poem. See my video again and again for proper explanation because I've not left anything. I've used every line in the explanation. Read it. See my video. You will understand. Learn the poetic devices. All right, and uh, if you have any problem, put it in the comment section. And yes, if you have still not subscribed my channel, please, please, please do it now. Take care of yourself.